I came from the University of Michigan, um, which was a, a pretty collegial environment. Uh, so I hadn't had a lot of difficulty dealing with my professors. But when I arrived in Houston, um, I found it was an entirely different environment. And Dr. DeBakey was a, a taskmaster. It was, it was horrible. It was horrible. In fact, I would get up in the morning and look in the mirror and, and say, you know, I'm not even sure who I am. Uh, he never kicked me out of the OR, but I had to stay in the corner. Uh, he'd say, well, Dr. Dietrich, you don't want to help me anymore, so go stay in the corner and see how we do this. And I made my mind up, I would never talk back to Dr. Dabiki. I never said, some people shouted and back and, and, and they got booted out of the program. All I would ever say was, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I sat down one day and I thought through and I said, you know, Dr. DeBakey is challenging me. He's going to see, I don't know what the test is, but he's going to see if I can stand the test. We had a lunchroom right outside the operating theater and we'd go in there and have a bowl of soup and the anesthesiologist would call me over and say, Ted, don't scrub in again. Do not go back in the operating room because the old man, that was Dr. DeBakey, he's going to throw you out. So. Uh, I went back in it.